Uh, so I, I have today's lecture and next week, and I had quite huge plans, uh, which we didn't succeed, of course, so we didn't achieve. Uh, but uh, anyways, today I'm going to talk uh, a bit sloppy, so I will not prove many things. I just uh, draw some, just specify main points. Maybe later in the notes I will clarify it and give some proofs. Uh, uh, but topic of today's lecture will be uh, the relation of the story of quantum groups to the uh, integrable systems. It was actually the origin of the quantum groups, and it was to mention at least at the end. Uh, okay, so uh, and the first ingredient will be the Baxter algebra. Okay, let, let us take two uh, finite dimensional representations of a fine quantum group. Of course, we will mainly talk about example L2, but here are that generic one. Uh, then we can take a universal matrix and restrict it to the to this uh, vector spaces v and w mm. uh, so it means that we take a universal matrix and apply to it tensor product of uh, our representation homomorphism Uh, this will be the operator which acts on the tensor product V tensor W. Uh, now uh, let us take, uh, let us define LV to be trace V of uh, K beta. K beta the one okay this one I will need later but so what I did I take it the universal matrix then I apply uh, on the second component, I apply identity. On the first component, I apply uh, my representation. Then again, on the first component, I apply also the element of the Cartan, some certain Cartan element. K, say beta. I'm not sure this is the best notation. Uh, okay, I don't know what is better. <laughs> K beta is the is element of the Cartan. Uh, beta is any element, yes, not necessary integer. Okay, maybe better write mu. Okay. So mu is a sum of a, uh, K mu is a product of Ki okay, and par and i, and actually these numbers and i can be not integer. You, you can think, you can always consider such uh, such extension of the uh, quantum affinity. Mm. Uh, so we define this element, and it belongs to the re, our quantum group. Um, so on the first part, we take the so obtain some number after the uh, after the end and then today but on the second part we uh, obtain some element of the quantum group so to be more precise uh, as a universal matrix it belongs to uq of b uh, let me look uq of um, i'm not sure Uh, 
I'm sorry. Uh, we lost everything. Yes. Uh, Okay, our universal matrix belongs to the, okay, let me go to the first lecture to specify our, uh, to be sure about our convention. It belongs to the product you, you could be plus and you could be minus, just to be sure we have plus or minus. On the first part we have plus. Uh, so, so hence, this element LV belongs to UQ of B minus. So we obtain certain elements which belong to the half of the uh, fine quantum group. Uh, there is a slight variation of this construction. So if we have uh, uh, instead of V, we can write V of U. If V comes from the, is a finite dimensional representation of, of the algebra G and we have evaluation homomorphism, this is just a, an evaluation representation. If we, we work in more general situation where we don't have evaluation homomorphisms, like for example, for D4, and then uh, this view of U uh, can be viewed as follows. So we, we take representation V and then uh, for any element X can be conjugated by Q and power UD, Q and power minus UD. So rho V of this is rho V of U of X. So V of U is a, a so V of U, uh, V of U is there is a um, is a representation of, of this in the same vector space, but the act, well, action is twisted like this. D is a. Uh, uh, the differentiation which we have in a fine in in cuts moody algebra uh, q in power uh, mm, it acts on the loop on loop part and what's the problem in in the d case there will in, be square root of u no in d case we don't have evaluation representations the, the sound of problem. Well, well, yes, uh, but why? Because yes. there are square roots of uh, spectrum. There is power. no in quantum groups. There is no relation homomorphism. How to say? Why should we have such homomorphism? Mm, okay, so I don't know. Maybe I don't know a good answer. But this result and I will uh, the fact that we don't have relation homomorphism proved like this. For D four, we have to. to a fundamental representation of dimension 28, but in a fine case, uh, the best what you, you can achieve is 29. There's no representation of the same such size. So there's no relation to homomorphism. Why? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have a question in the audience. Sasha? Okay, uh, more questions? Yes, yes, D is defined such that Q, D, E, I, Q minus D equal to E, I for I not equal to zero. And for and similar for f and for e zero q e zero q minus d is equal q e zero. Mm -hmm. like mm. Mm. Maybe sh here I should write not u but logarithm of u if I use such notation. But anyway, uh, I'm 
I'm not ready to write all formulas correctly today. I am just explaining the idea and the idea is that, and I hope idea is clear. We can twist any representation. And uh, therefore, hence we can define LV of U. Okay, but better to, maybe we can should remember that it actually depends not, not only on, on beta, also on mu, on V, also on mu, uh, such key uh, Cartan element which acts on the end. Uh, this element is sometimes called twist in the literature. We have LV uh, mu of u, which belongs to uq of p minus. <clears throat> okay, so we can define this element and why we did this. Uh, for uh, q equal to one, uh, this are matrix uh, is so. Uh, uh, okay, maybe I cannot say, but uh, for q equal one, there should be no such construction. Uh, such construction should not give you anything interesting. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I, you're asking about this uh, for q equal one uh, no uh, no because this logarithm is respect to q So if for Q equal one, this somehow went. Maybe yes, maybe yes. Maybe I can write like this if you want. Okay. Yes, yes. This is quantum group construction. Maybe it will be just constant. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but let's We, for any representation V, we defined the current LV of U. Yes. Yes. Now uh, let's state uh, the main properties of this construction. Okay. Uh, let me think. Maybe I should. Sorry, maybe I should change my notations just a bit, but in order to make them standard. So, uh, so let me write that LV you to be just uh, this part and this i will denote by t small and here i can write away and uh, similarly here i will get t So and this is by definition T 
Three of you. So this, uh, the names are L is called monodromy matrix. And T is a trace of monodromy matrix and probably this could be called transfer matrix. Okay, properties. Uh, a, T, V, of u, t v prime of u prime equal to zero. So we obtain a commutative algebra. Mm, yes, mu is the same. Quite often mu is fixed to be to to be equal to one, but this is not actually the best choice. Well, I mean, this is not the best choice for some problems. B, if we have, uh, so the, actually A is the main property, but uh, everything else just follows. So uh, just uh, quite easy, but I just stress stated for, for completeness. If you have short exact sequence of models, then uh, for, uh, we have uh, equality of the corresponding T, TV. Mu. Okay, I will, will not write mu, mu below. So often I will just mu and I will not write mu. So mu is always fixed. Uh, okay, so then TV of u is equal to sum. TV prime of u, TV double prime of u. Mm. And can, can, can we change u like u prime and u double prime? Mm, if you can do this in this short exact sequence, then yes. Mm, okay. Otherwise, no. So I, you see. Mm, so if you you can so you can twist all this exact sequence then so if you have this exact sequence then we have exact sequence and v prime of u to v of u to v double prime of u and therefore we get this formula but uh, for different uh, u and u prime you do not have such sequence so nothing to uh, v is finite dimensional representation, otherwise I have to define trace. K can give us some help, but in principle, just now I defined for finite dimensional representation. Sometimes it is possible, sometimes not. Uh, here, here just, now I'm just talking about finite dimensional V, but in principle, uh, infinite dimensional presence V also can give us some help. And but I decided to do, we will talk, uh, I plan to talk about this ne next week. Okay, C is a tensor product property. And property D, just for completeness again, that uh, here should be some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ну, значит, будут получать какие-то интересные целовые стандартные движения, получать какие-то интересные целовые стандартные перестановки между собой, да? Как бы они переставляют все ароматы. Ху-ху-ху. Я имею в виду, что CV это нужно W, и CV это нужно V. Они как бы... Это же... Не совсем одно и то же, правильно? V tensor W, tensor V are not isomorphic, but T defined by them are equal. So, if you want the corollary, no, as usual, corollary, uh, cor, another order of the letters, corollary, T is, uh, is a homomorphism from the K0 of the Uh, fine dimensional, okay, of, of the reps of finite dimensional to uq of b minus. And there is a property that v tensor w and w tensor v have the same classes in k0. K0 is a, is a quotient of the, so we take the fine dimensional presentation, then we construct a billion group, which, which, has a, which is gen, generated by, by object which correspond to elements which correspond to the object uh, with a summation. That if you have short exact sequence and class of V is equal to class of V prime V two prime, mm -hmm. and also this will be linked with this property. Mm. Yes, K0, yes, K0. Mm. But maybe this is too difficult answer to the very short, simple problem. So for V tensor W and W tensor V, T are the same. Yes. Uh. So this should somehow resemble your story about Q characters, where for any fine dimensional rotation, we construct not, not a function, but uh, so, something else, uh, some, something like care, some, some element of some commutative ring. This is uh, this related, to and I plan to talk about this, I don't know, later, maybe here. Uh, for now, let, let us put it like this. Uh, uh, let, let me prove something. The, the main property is property A. And uh, for, for the, but its proof is quite straightforward. It, uh, no, you talk, uh, talked about, I think, another order, V tensor W and W tensor V, it's different. A is the commutativity. No, yes, the, I mean, this follows from the C and A. Yes, you, you should use A in your argument, yeah. of course. Uh, We uh, uh, now let us use Young Baxter. Uh, it's uh, the Young Baxter says that R at U V L U L V is equal to L V L U. R at U V. R at U V. Yeah. So here uh, L V uh, is just uh, is the row applied to the So we, we take uh, young box for universal matrix and then apply to first and second component uh, 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 row U and row V. Get this. Maybe I should, so young Baxter is, 
R12, R13. One two and we uh, and uh, we apply review and review obtain this. Uh, hence, uh, now we plan to take trace, but before uh, we need to. Uh, a twist uh, and uh, so I want to write the following that I want to write that k mu acting on u l u k mu acting on v l v is equal to the same thing k mu Maybe I will simplify my notation if I added this twist to the definition of the monodry matrix, but I think this is not standard. So I will do this. Uh, and uh, how do I get this? So first of all, I moved R here, and then I multiplied and left and right side by uh, the following product that K mu acting on uh, U tensor K mu acting on V. But this is a just action of the Cartan element on, on the tensor product. And uh, this Cartan element commutes with R matrix. So, so on the left part, which I, I just move it and K acts here and K, this K, K, K which acts on V commutes with this and this and absent here. And on the right side, I should recommute this K with R matrix. So I use that R matrix UV can use with K mu U K mu V. R matrix preserves the uh, uh, Cartan uh, eigenvalues with respect to diagonal uh, uh, Cartan as algebra. Our matrix, if you remember for cell two, for example, our matrix has this form. So K X here by some number, here by another number, and here by third number. And therefore it can use this matrix. And now it remains to take the trace. We take the trace on V tensor D, uh, U tensor V. Mm. Oh, I should be very sorry. I use here U for the representation. And this is U capital, and do not, do, shouldn't be confused with the U, which I used for the parameter. Uh, I hope I didn't lose ever anybody due to these notations, and I shouldn't change it now. Now I take trace on U tensor V, and uh, on the le left si side, I obtained TU. This is U. Okay, let me change notation. This U to V primes. Maybe this will help. So on the left side, I obtained TV prime TV. And on the right side, I will now. I will show you in a minute. Okay, here's. Still one you here. So 
So on the left side, obtain tensor product TV prime TV product. And on the right side, I get TV TV prime, which is conjugated by some matrix. But for the trace, this conjugation is not important. So we get this equality. And since V and V prime are any fine dimensional representation, we can you can twist it any by any any manner and by any number, and you still get this equality. Okay, uh, so this is the main property A, and uh, for B, C, and D, I plan to say that this is a straightforward. Uh, for example, for B, uh, uh, for B, uh, uh, we have uh, this short exact sequence, uh, hence. Uh, Hence, L operator uh, will have triangular form. Uh, any X, can okay, change the color? X in UQ of G hat. In V has form has form has a triangular form. So we have uh, subspaces denoted by the prime. So we have x the prime zero. X V double prime and zero, and uh, no, not zero. In principle, something. Uh, hence, uh, the uh, L operator will uh, L operator will be product of the element of such form, and uh, element of the universal well of the quantum groups. We multiply by Captan element, which also has this form, and then take the trace. And, and uh, we get the sum of two summons which correspond to T and TV prime and TV double prime. Uh, okay, this is for B. Uh, for C, we should use the property of the R matrix. Uh, the name, we have the following property that delta on R better to write as follows delta composition identity of R is equal to what is equal to I think R13 R23. And uh, so, so if I do, so if I talk about LV tensor V prime, so here it sounds like LV tensor V prime, here LV times LV prime. Here, so here's the hence. Mm -hmm. mm. I hope I'm correct. Uh, whereas this, this tensor product is uh, in terms of V and V prime, this is just tensor product of matrices and then third factor, which is uh, from uh, 
from the quantum group this will be the product of the element of the quantum group. And from this, we multiply by twist and take the trace, we get that T of V tensor V prime is equal to TV, to TV tensor T V prime. And D was just our definition. So D is obvious. My definition. Okay, squares. So the, to summarize, this again is the same color corollary. We came, we have a map from the uh, fine dimensional representation of our uh, algebra to it, to it, uh, to it, or even better, to its half to the so, so, barely sub algebra. You can construct uh, algebra uh, is isomorphic, so you can actually can construct a similar map to the just taking the the v homomorphism of the second factor. You can construct similar map to b plus. I won't use it today, but this of the same price. Okay. Uh, are there any questions? Okay, main example of the story, which was, again, as I said, the story appears, was originated before uh, quantum groups. Main example. Ah, but, my, okay, I plan to say main example, but uh, before, since I have some space here, let me state the, pro, the main problem. is diagonalize subalgebra, which is consists of this, the elements which we I just constructed, T of U and U on some finite dimensional representation W. We have commutative algebra, so the natural question is, uh, is its diagonalization. Uh, main example, uh, where the space uh, is not, so let us, uh, of course, my main example is always SL2, but up to now I can still, I can work a, a, in a slightly larger generality to so talk about SLN. So we have EQSLN. And uh, now let V be CN. Uh, it's evaluation, it's a first of C. Uh, v, now let's V be CN and V of U will be CN of U uh, evolution representations. First of all, we have evolution homomorphism, and CN is a, a representation of there is a representation of EQSLN in space CN as we used many times. Uh, now, uh, so uh, let us take so V to be. V of U and W to be V of U1 tensor V of U2 tensor, tensor V of UN. So our uh, space in which we want to diagonalize subalgebra, this so called quantum space in terms of quantum integral systems. Let me try the quantum space. And V is called auxiliary space. Uh, 
So we think that our quantum space is again just tensor product of the simplest representation. In this case, the L operator, uh, this L operator will be a matrix which permute V and such tensor product. Uh, but uh, uh, we know the simplest matrix which permute V of U and V of U1. For SL2, it will be four by four matrix, and for SLM, it will be square by square matrix of the standard structure. Uh, I, I think I just not need to recall this formula. Uh, then, uh, if you want to permute V with this tensor product, which is first permute V with first factor, then with second, and so on. So, this L will be the product R0 N of R matrix depend on, on the ratio of the uh, evaluation parameters R0 and minus one of. R zero one, we one of you. Uh, okay. So when people start to talk about better integrable systems, they write this formula. Uh, there is some peculiar property of this matrix, uh, which I want to uh, use now, but for this, I really have to recall its formula. Uh, okay, it's formula. Where is the first place where it can be found? For example, the lectures eight and nine. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe in some other lectures. This lecture 11 with many different letters, but. Sorry, I have problems with finding the formula. Uh, last chance is lecture seven, I think. Here it is. Where here is a full matrix. This is the formula for SL2, but for, of course, for higher, uh, for, for higher, and it will have this, it will have block structure with, uh, with uh, this and these blocks, just, just like this. There is one more form of uh, of the problem of the commutative algebra. Uh, I will state it specifically for this case, but it can be generalized and so on. Uh, let us note that uh, for if we take z equal to w. 
namely we compute error of one. What do we get? So we get once on the, the diagonal term and on the, the central, the most interesting block, we get zeros here and ones here. So we get just P, permutation matrix. Uh, so we want uh, so how say we want to diagonalize so we we want to diagonalize t of u which is trace k beta on zero space l of u uh, if this t of u is uh, actions of space and the, uh, with certain equivalence, then we can uh, substitute instead of u some certain special values. And of course, it is natural to substitute a value where uh, u is equal to a, any of u, ui's. And of course, it is also important to substitute like q squared ui where the cinematic has pole. But I will not talk about pole now, I just substitute ui. So let's compute t of ui is equal to trace on the zero subspace of the following k beta zero. Then we get this product of our matrix. So r zero n ui over un and so on. r zero i plus one ui over ui plus one. Then we get r zero i of one, and then product uh, over indices which are less than i, r i minus one i ui over ui minus one, r one i, r, mm, so our first thing is I still zero here. Uh, it will, I will change it very soon, but in a minute. Get this formula. Now we, we state, we substitute here the permutation. And then uh, we, we permute this permutation to all the spaces. And the result of this zero subspace will be replaced by I subspace. And I also put these terms also here in order to move this P also there. So this, this will equal the trace of a zero subspace of the following operator. Uh, R I I minus one R I one. Then we get K beta on the I subspace in inverse, and then also inverses R. I n R Mm -hmm. Inverse. And I should put P somewhere, for example, here. Move it to the right. And you see uh, at the end, 
there is no uh, there is no dependence on zeros of space except this 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 permutation. So everywhere where here I have zeros of space are replaced by i's. Everywhere here where I had uh, and evaluation parameters, u is already replaced by uh, ui. So, uh, so the trace, so there is a following property that the trace uh, on zero subspace of any operator a acting on i subspace p0i is just operator ai. So, this. Uh, this so we use this property. Maybe better to write it without much. So first subspace P12. P2 is equal to A. Okay, and now we use all, using this, we just, uh, we can uh, write the same thing as before, but now without uh, without trace and without uh, zero subspace. Okay, I don't have much space here. Anyway, this uh, formula and uh, the problem of diagonalization of the T of U uh, is uh, in particular solved and actually equivalent to the problem of diagonalization of such operators. So in, uh, so in this formula, we do not have uh, auxil no auxiliary uh, vector space. Mm. So this is just operator which acts on the our quantum space. Uh, and and this operator has name. This is uh, Q K Z operator. This operator which appears in quantum Nijnik Zamolochev equations. To be more precise, Nijnik Zamolochev equations are differential equations. So we should differentiate or here take difference with respect to one of the evaluation parameters, U1, UN. And in the difference we get Action of some operator, uh, actually this operator. Uh, in, in usually in KZ we have uh, uh, we have we differentiate over one of the variables here to be something like UI, and obtain uh, say quadratic Casimir. Uh, Product of quadratic Casimir uh, over ui minus uj, actions i and j. Here, instead of the sum, we get a product. And instead of the something like quadratic Casimir, which is something like uh, classical matrix, we obtain quantum matrix. Mm -hmm. um, but again, this is not key, key literally, this is like Godel model. So I'm talking about integrable system like XXZ. And uh, this like this should be compared with Gaudin integrals. <laughs> but sometimes it's more convenient to diagonalize. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Now let me state uh, the result for SL2. So let me state the better than that for SL2. It is actually not difficult to prove uh, better equations, but I, I didn't choose the way which I want to, to, uh, to deduce them. And finally, I realized that, okay, I will not just, uh, uh, during the lecture, I will not deduce them, I just state. So uh, one way is the following. Is it, uh, vector of the form b of x1 ah what is b uh, uh, so let us write lv so once again v is c2 then LV of U, I will denote as A of U, B of U, C of E, D of U. And as a remark, I want to recall you that LV is L. I believe in L minus, but I'm not 100% sure because I'm sure that I have a plus uh, from RLL realization, which we discussed like a month ago, two months ago. Uh, so, in particular, it means that. LV of U is, uh, I apologize, right, formula approximately because I'm not sure about any sign and stuff like this, uh, but up to this. E minus K, or maybe can I just sign sign minus? Okay, these formulas and where, where maybe you remember your E minus, F minus are half currents. So they're not X, X plus and X minus, um, but uh, uh, half of the modes, positive or negative. And now the statement is proposition that if we take the following vector b of x, which is equal to b of x1, b of x2, b of x k applied to vacuum. Uh, applied to vacuum, vacuum in MXI. And before I should introduce notation, so let W be finite dimensional loop highest weight module 
which has to and uh, xi the corresponding loop highest weight vector. Then any vector is obtained from the xi by action of uh, f, f minus and so on. So one of the way to state the beta and that is to take xi and apply to it b or on different variables, different values of the parameters, b of x1, x2, and so on, xk. So this obtained vector is eigenvector of system which we considered tv of u. If uh, and, uh, and only if there are some issues with the leaf part, but I noted for a moment, uh, uh, better equations holds. And um, and both equations look like this. Uh, uh, um, P of phi of x k P uh, is equal to product of j j not equal to k. Xk minus q inverse xj of xk minus q xj. Uh, where phi is loop highest weight of representation w from which we started. And P is a parameter of the twist. So mu is a, so we think that Q and power mu is matrix of the form zero, zero P. Well, maybe I should write that mu is proportional to P minus one. Mm. Not, not P minus one logarithm. Yes, it's like this. Uh, so, th so this is a system of uh, many algebraic equations for any given k, and k is a spin of the uh, of the corresponding eigenvector. This eigenvalue respect to uh, zero mod of the of the function h zero or k k one in our notation of q is to head. So, if we take fix k. And uh, then uh, for, we, we get this system of k equation, k variables, uh, k1, k2, and so on, k, x1, x2, and so on, xk. This is of a system of the algebraic equation of what so algebraic equations are difficult to solve. The system cannot be solved. It can, can be solved. There is a very often question about monodromy of the solutions and so on. We should move axis. Now, let me give you some remarks. Uh, first, uh, this is a formula for 
uh, eigenvector, but you can ask what is the corresponding eigenvalue. And thus is the following, that if you want to, uh, uh, to compute uh, T, say, T, um, okay, V prime, on the vector B of X, uh, it will be certain eigenvalue epsilon dependent on V and X on this vector, where again, I'll write uh, not precise formula, this eigenvalue is more or less Q character of V prime where instead of the y's, we, I, we substituted x. So this isn't just an idea of the formula, but so uh, but what this idea says that if you act by some, uh, in your big community of algebras, you have many generators, uh, as many as fine dimensional representations. And you, so the eigenvalue should depend on the representation. And actually the number of summons in the uh, eigenvalue will be the dimension of the corresponding representations, not uh, quantum representations, auxiliary representations. So for example, if you take V prime to be as usual two dimensional, uh, if you take V prime to be two dimensional, then this eigenvalue will be sum of two summons. Uh, this is not quite obvious from the very beginning, but actually this formula is symmetric with respect to permutation axis. And uh, again, this will be some symmetric function on axis. Okay. This is remark A. Remark B. Uh, pictorially, the construction uh, this construction can be stated as follows. So we take we have okay, I'll draw pictures using pink color. No, why does not? Uh, so we have okay, is this a picture. Now, what does it mean? So for each vertical line, I, I assign an uh, element of the quantum space. So here u1, u2, u3, and so on un. And the horizontal lines correspond in, in this picture correspond to the auxiliary space, xk. Uh, then on uh, then uh, corresponding to, we take empty state, or if you want spin up, oh, oh my, blah. One more right way to write to write plus it's here everywhere. And for uh, auxiliary space, we start with minuses, and as a result, we obtain all pluses. This is so we so this we we take so we in formulas we take the product of our matrices over 
from for indices i from 1 to n and j from n plus 1 to n plus k r i j over x uh, j minus n over u i. This is drawn in this uh, rectangle. So each intersection means that we take the corresponding R matrix. And then in this in this R matrix, we take uh, the following matrix element, we, uh, we, which in auxiliary spaces takes uh, starts from minuses and ends pluses. And on the quantum space, it starts from minuses and ends with something which is, uh, which is, uh, uh, which we don't know, but which should have K minus. So thanks operator, which maps minus to plus is B. So this is exactly uh, this formula product of B's. But now drawn. Okay, and remark number three states that there is another way to write this formula. The following. So we take, we write x minus of x1 and so on, x minus of xn. So we use Dean field realization instead of RLA realization, ABC here. Then apply it to vacuum. Vacuum is denoted by psi here. And then we substitute any x minus of x. We substitute as f plus of x minus f minus of x, part with positive modes and part with negative modes. But then we recommute this to the product will be which will be sum of f minus of minus f minus uh, k terms k k factors plus. Uh, other terms, which we ignore, uh, namely, uh, and this procedure is called projection. So, the best, so the, the beta vector is a project. So we get then we get, we get projection. We apply projection and get this. Sum f minus f minus, and this way is slightly better if you want to generalize it for, from SL two for some other Lie algebras because what what should we think what should be b it's then it's more tricky it depends it depends on your realization and this is uh, just about about drink realization. So. Okay, this is all sketch. Uh, are there any questions? Okay, if there are no questions, uh, uh, I, I have two more things to state, um, two more themes to discuss. Mm. Uh, just let me check, can you still hear me? Can you still see my screen? Are there any problems, technical? Everything is fine. To hear. Mm. 
Uh, okay, so first, uh, as I promised you, the, I want to state that how this is related to Q characters. Mm. In order to do this, okay, let me recall. Oh, sorry, uh, or just show you. There's a formal for the universal matrix. This is a formal for okay, formal for universal matrix. Uh, uh, I, I will be mostly interested in the part which corresponds to the imaginary roots. H and from the following reason. So above we define that for any V. We can construct LV, which belongs to UQ of G. And now we apply to this V uh, so called Harish Chandra projection. Uh, projection. And uh, as a result, we, we come to the uh, to the actual commutative algebra of H A R for R greater than zero. So usually, a, a, a usual Harish Chandra projection is a follow. So you, uh, so this is some sort of digression. If you have some algebra G, simple algebra, you decompose it in plus Cartan plus and minus, minus Cartan plus and plus. And then in U of G, you have tensor product as a vector space, of course. <clears throat> and if you take some element, usually it's applied to central element. Uh, then, so if you if you take element of the weight zero, then it can be written as element of the uh, Cartan subalgebra plus uh, elements uh, which have non-zero part on the n minus. and non-zero part on the n plus. And this is, and this is an ideal. So we have a projection which maps from the zero part of the uh, of the uh, universal valve algebra to Cartan. And standard theorem says that if you apply this to the center of the universal algebra, uh, universal valve algebra, you obtain W invariant on, on the Cartan part under the shift detection. So, proje so projection of UG. So uh, this is an ideal. And projection from U of G0 to U of H. This is Harish Chandra. I'm afraid I'm, okay, let me check how Harish Chandra is. I think the first letter is wrong. Uh, and uh, everything else is okay. Why should, should the C? I don't know. Now we return to our case. Uh, in our case, we came to UQ of B minus, and uh, for UQ of B minus, we have triangular decomposition. UQ of B minus is 
uq and again we 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 obtain the element of the weight zero of course uh, because we just take the trace so it will be uq of h uh, it will be some it will be subalgebra generated by h a r r by version zero plus something something which contains e's and so on and there is a and if we apply Harish Chandra, we obtain uh, uh, we we obtain element of this of the commutative subalgebra. So the theorem, which is actually not difficult, but I didn't prepare well to explain, that uh, this is a Q character. So Q character of V is a Harish Chandra. Chandra applied to LV, applied to T. Of course, uh, you know, this is not precise, still not precise statement. So I just said that Harish Chandra applied. So if you take TV, apply Harish Chandra, we will come to some commutative algebra. And, uh, so we get a map from the from the Gerson group to some commutative algebra with infinitely many generators, but uh, in this setting we had some explicit. We have the name of the generators. Generators here are Y, I, A. Some Y we had some Y generators, and in terms of the uh, uh, of this ages. Where well, this is a, a, an exponent h sum of r something like this. I'm not. I should be to check. Maybe there's some more coefficient here, but morally like this. So these are the elements which belong to the this algebra. Uh, of course, some completion, but we will come to the completion. And uh, one cannot uh, quite easily check that, uh, uh, that this agrees with our definition of two character, which we did above. So in this, this, in this sense, uh, I was asked when I define two characters, is it some analog of the trace or some analog of the L operator? This is an answer. So we should take trace where we trace when we take L operator. So we take, indeed, we take a trace in our representation V, but uh, uh, this is not just, we obtain not number, but actually element of the universal value. And if you want to have some analog of the characters, something commutative, then we should take Harish Chandra projection and, uh, and uh, get this comm commutative algebra. Another way to think about this is the following, the Q characters, uh, the algebra of Q characters is uh, the generation, some projection of the algebra of the Baxter algebra, Baxter Baxter algebra, where we forget some, we are, even Baxter algebra is already commuted to, but we forget some information due to this projection. Right? Okay, I see there's no question. Okay, I'm over time. So the last point I just state very uh, very sh shortly, uh, namely, uh, let me let let us. Let me change a bit my notation. So let me denote LV plus what I denote LV above and LV minus, but LV minus I denote uh, the following. So we take universal matrix, permute indexes take inverse, and then again take Rovit and their identity. 
and let me define L small v to be trace of v, uh, something like LV plus LV minus. Uh, there is some There is some uh, some two different separators in between. Like, and so, so, and some notations, which I anyway, I just claim idea. I can no time to explain. But what is important is that this now this formula is quadratic with spectral matrix, so something like R R to one inverse. And maybe some of you remember that this formula and trace of this formula with respect to one argument was used in the construction of the center of the quantum group. And actually, uh, here station is similar. So theorem. And it was proven by in the in golf that this uh, LV which I very roughly explained you like something quadratic in our matrix uh, this is a center of UQ of G hat on critical level. UQ of G had don't have center in general and central trivial like for just U of G had, but for critical level, whatever, it, who knows, who knows, I won't explain it now, it has huge center. And this is constructed by the construction of the central element from fine dimensional case, which now works on the critical level. I think for non critical, this thing cannot be defined. Or uh, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe. No, no, no. I th no, I think the uh, when the, the level is non-critical, at least part of this in, is used to in uh, for for the proof of QQZ equation. This will be, this will give you some sort of different separator, and similarly you prove QZ equation from the Sugawara formula for uh, conformal case. You prove QQZ using this sort of things. Yes, uh, in principle, representation we can we can uh, depend on the relation parameter. So this L small v depends on the relation parameter. If V is two dimensions, some sort of sugar bar in principle. Or, or fundamental. Actually, I don't know. Uh, fundamental representation for Silent is some sort of sugar bar. Yes, yes, this is some sort of sugar bar. Но при этом, если смотреть вот это LV при критическом уровне, мы можем это сделать, да? I think yes, they can be defined, but I don't know what is kind of fault with you. Ну, то есть там никакого там надежного перспективы рассора нет? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe nobody looked to the scale. I don't know. 
Okay, and last piece just to make everything. Um, how to say? To, to have more math in, in your head. That is the phone. That if we have, so this LV, uh, so this LV uh, acts on the standards, on the on the highest weight representation. Highest weight representations. And uh, before we talked about back transfer, which acts on the finite dimension representation, which are not uh, highest weight representations. But we can relate the scenes using vertex operators. So vertex operators which like from some module tensor fine dimensional presentation to another module relates this story about LV and LV. LV X here and here and LV X. So if you take vertex operator which correspond to best eigenvector, then it is some, so this has a good commutation property with this LV which X here. But anyway, I stop here and just ask for the question. W is a finite dimensional representation of this formula. Where is small w? And this is M, which stands for something like Verma model. Yes, these two M's are different. This M and prime are highest weight representations. And this W is a finite dimension of reps. So the story about finite dimension representations and, and highest weight representations, they, the stories interact through vertex operators. Yes, если рассмотреть это если два, то видимо там могут быть другие представления помимо примерного. Они как бы для них эти РФ, они будут выражаться через Yes, yes, because uh, two-dimensional representation generate a, a K series, K Grossing group. So any three-dimensional representation is a tensor product of two-dimensional mm -hmm. minus one. So it is. Yes, yes. Okay, I have questions only in the audience. Maybe I can stop, at least stop recording. And maybe see you next time. <laughs>